Hello everybody, this is Jason Donnelly, aka DJ Puzzle, reporting for my website iPadLoops.com, and this is how you route Der Voco, a new AU vocoder by Deep Street. This is how you route it through Cubasis. Now Cubasis lacks buses for routing audio. So in order to add that functionality to Cubasis, you have to use two additional apps. And I'm gonna show you how to set that up. Now the apps needed Audio Bus 3 and AUM. I've linked to those in the description below. Okay, so uh, if you watch my previous uh, tutorial on Dare Vocal, you'll see how to set it up in AUM. We're going to do the same thing in this video. We're going to set it up in AUM, but we're going to, okay, we're going to play the MIDI sequence here in Cubasis, and that's going to head over to our synth in AUM. Okay, in this case, we're using an audio unit synthesizer on one channel and we're panning. Okay, so that's how we set this up. We panned it to the left here and then the mic input is panned to the right and then that all goes over to bus A, which then runs through input mode on Der Voco FX. Input mode, and that's gonna allow us to use a custom carrier in Der Voco. Okay, so look at this channel here. Boom, we're back in Cubasis, okay? Now, but how did we do that? Well, we had to use audio bus as a middleman, okay? Without audio bus, you won't get this little Cubasy dealy down here, this Cubasis. Okay, see that? See, Cubasis now comes up as an audio bus output. Pretty sweet, huh? So, what we're doing is uh, we got these three apps running, okay? You've got audio bus three, and your input is. Oh, and it's sending that back to Cubase. So Cubases. So what we're doing is we're selecting Ohm and hit the little I, a little information here under apps, Ohm, I, and you'll see port one. Okay. Now that's sending, and look at Cubase as this really cool thing where it'll set that whole track up for you with all the routing and it's ready to go as an audio track and ready to be recorded like you see here. And I've got these MIDI notes triggering the synth in Ohm while that's an external uh, carrier, and that comes back in here into audio bus, and then routes back to Cubasis. All right, so let's start from scratch and quickly set that up once again so you can see the steps. I'm gonna kinda go a little fast, I apologize. So open Cubasis. First thing you wanna do is add a MIDI track, and that's gonna be where you route the MIDI information over to AUM. It's not showing up though, is it? Why is that? Well, we don't have a AUM open for one. So let's open OM. And the first thing we're gonna do is let's drop a synth in, channel one, any old synth. How stupid me, I grabbed a monophonic synth, not realizing that later. Uh, so you might see some chords don't worry about that. It's all the same setup. And over here, after you see I panned, now over here we've got my microphone input and I'm panning the channels, okay, with stereo panning. I'm going to pan those this left and right, okay? So left is your carrier, right is your modulator, okay? The outputs are going to mix to bus A, okay? This is how we add bus functionality to Cubasis. Over here, our input's bus A, and we're going to put Der Vocal VX and hit input mode. Now that's set up. That's ready to go. Now, we want to send this all back to Cubasis. How are we going to do that? Choose an audio bus output, and then open audio bus. And now select AUM port 1. Okay, and now send that over to Cubasis. Now watch, this is the, this is a beautiful thing. Oh, it's buried under this menu. Boom, it set up that audio track for us automatically. So that was pretty nice. Okay, now you hear this piano, right? Well, there's a couple more steps. 
That's the internal piano from Cubasis. We want to look for AUM. So you can MIDI route your uh, MIDI routing. It's going to go out to AUM. MIDI out to AUM. Okay. Remember that. Uh, this doesn't work anymore. I don't know why. So I'm just going to use the home button. So here we go. And this is why we're not getting sending MIDI yet. We need to select home destination in our MIDI controller in AUM. And then under the synth, we need to make sure we select home destinations. Okay. Now that MIDI is routed internally within AUM from Cubasis to the synth that we have in AUM, that's going to be our carrier for DeVoco. Okay. I got to click the home button again because it's not launching the app anymore. Um, okay. So now, here you go. Now you, you see, you hear the vocoder, right? Okay. Turn off the uh, audio output. See a stereo output there? Just turn those off. You won't get that piano sound now. That's the built-in piano from Cubasis. And boom, here we go. We're all set up, okay? Now we're vocoding. And let's say we want to record a, the uh, the MIDI, some, some MIDI notes, okay? Again, like a dumbass, I chose a monophonic synth by accident, um, and I'm going to play some chords here. Uh, ignore that. It just use a polyphonic synth if you want chords. Uh, so anyway, um, so I've recorded some MIDI notes, and now I want to go ahead and record the audio output from me now i got you have to speak over the microphone of, of course while that midi's playing so speak over the microphone and it will vocode your voice and boom here we go now you may want to have uh, so there's, there's the audio soloed right. you might want to clean that up a little whatever um so yeah there you have it pretty simple right that's all you got to do. Um, I, sucks Cubasis doesn't have bus capabilities yet, uh, maybe in a future update. But with these two apps, you can really expand Cubasis in regards to uh, routing possibilities. And you saw me bouncing around from app to app. I didn't have a lot going on, so I don't know. My CPU is not being pushed very hard, but you see that there's like very little of any latency. Uh, and it's pretty smooth. And I don't hear any audio clicking or anything weird. Uh, you know, so it seems to be okay for recording a simple uh, vocoded audio loop. This would be your solution if you're a Cubasis user. A lot of us rely on Cubasis as our main DAW. So, you know, I highly recommend if you're going to do any additional kind of bus routing to check out audio bus and AUM, okay? So there you have it, we're all set up. I, I hope this helps you guys and uh, please check out my other tutorials. I set up Dervoco um, with an external carrier and uh, I put a link to that video down below. And also if you wanna support my channel, subscribing is a great way. Hit the little bell next to the subscribe button. That little bell is gonna send you notifications uh, when I upload new videos and I'm trying to do at least one to two per, per week to keep you guys happy uh, and inspired so hit that little bell and uh, buy from my affiliate links to support the channel those are the only things I, I ask you if I beg of you <laughs> joking uh, if you just want to help it'd be nice um, if this video helped you that's the best way you can and if you don't want to do that just share the video tell your friends so thanks again for watching Jason Donnelly with iPadLeaps.com.